ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு சாம்ஸ் சயின்ஸ் வியூ சேனல் இன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அ சயின்ஸ் ஃபேக்ட் வாட் இஸ் த ஃபோம் ஆன் ஹோம் மேட் ஜூசஸ் அண்ட் ஹவு டு ஸ்டாப் இட்ஸ் ஃபார்மேஷன் பிஃபோர் கெட்டிங் இன் டு த வீடியோ ப்ளீஸ் வாட்ச் திஸ் என்டே வீடியோ அண்ட் டூ சப்போர்ட் மை சேனல் அண்ட் இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் எனி சயின்ஸ் ரிலேட்டட் குவரிஸ் யூ கேன் கமெண்ட் அபவுட் இட் இன் திஸ் சேனல் Now let's get into the video. I have made a juice regularly but it was only this morning that I noticed that it was particularly for me and it got me thinking what is the foam that forms on top of the fruit juice when you juice fruits and vegetables some air can get mixed into it especially if you use a centrifugal juicer this air combines with the juice and creates a froth on top this foam is perfectly safe to drink it just doesn't taste the best so you can scrap it off with a spoon the reason you tend to get it a lot more if you use a centrifugal juicer because this type of juicer has a fast spinning blade inside it that extracts juice the high speeds cause lots of air to get caught inside your fresh juice which forms tiny little air bubbles that all stick together and this is the froth on top of your juice now let's see a little more on how to stop foam from forming what to do with it if you get it and whether or not you lose any nutrition in it now let's see is it safe to drink the foam on top of juice absolutely there is no reason that the foam would be bad for you it's just your juice mixed with air bubbles that's all if you are really worried you don't have to drink it you won't be missing out on any of the nutrition by just drinking your juice and do you lose nutrition in this form not really at all when it comes to the foam there is only a tiny amount of juice in there if you just left the foam on its own in a glass it would turn back into a few drops of juice you aren't really missing out on any nutrition by not drinking the foam because the amount of juice in there is very negligible can you now turn the foam back into juice if you just leave your fresh juice to sit long enough with the foam on top it will all eventually turn back into a liquid and mix with the rest of the juice you don't have to do this though the juice that's in the foam has been oxidized so the nutrition in it has started to degrade the foam can also taste quite bitter so if you do want to drink it i would mix it in with the rest of your juice if you want to get rid of the foam you can do it with either a fine mesh strainer or a small tea strainer just pour the juice through the strainer and it will catch the worst of the froth on top or you can just use a spoon and scrap it off you can make it easy to get rid of your foam by pouring your juice into bottles as you fill up your bottle the foam rises to the top and you will be able to just scrap it off but one of the fun things i have discovered is that you can do with juice foam is to freeze it it turns into a kind of sorbet which is really tasty and finally how to stop foam from forming on your juice is unfortunately foam is just one of those things that happens you tend to get more foam with centrifugal juices because of their spinning blades so if you 
have one of these and the form is a real problem for you then you could consider getting a masticating juicer instead however even with a top of the range twin gear masticating juicer you will still get foaming from time to time the best way to deal with foaming is by using either a strainer or a spoon they will get rid of it just fine the reason masticating juicer cause less froth is because they use a slower process than centrifugal juicers they are known as cold juicers and slow juicers for a reason they have a slow agar that crushes the fruits and vegetables you put in squeezing out every last bit of juice meanwhile centrifugal juicers can work anywhere up to 14000 rpm that is revolutions per minute such a very fast rotation they have a fast spinning cutting blade that your ingredients hit then they get mulched up and the juice gets flung to the side the juice itself flies through the air causing more oxidation in your juice and resulting in a much higher chance of ending up with froth the big culprits of causing foam in terms of ingredients tend to be the grapes apples leafy veggies and tomatoes there is something about them possibly their fiber content that causes them to create more foam than other fruits and veggies carrot juice however is the opposite you don't tend to get much foam at all it's an exception so in an conclusion basically you don't have to worry about this foam the froth on juice is just a natural by product of juicing and nothing to worry about if you really don't like the taste you can remove it with a strainer or just keep it there and have a frothy moustache in your mouth i hope you find this video useful if you have any queries about this you can leave them in the comments below and i will get back to you and if you have any science related facts and doubts you can uh, comment about it and you can comment about this video too and you can get clarified about your science facts so that's it for today's video hope so you got some scientific fact related knowledge we will meet in the next uh, science fact treasury series until then it's goodbye from sam take care